Hello everyone and welcome to Respectful Dave. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to analyze your games correctly. So let's say you just finished playing a game. In this case, I was playing with the black pieces. It was an interesting game. Um, I maneuvered my knight in this way. The G file opened up. I wanted to go for checkmate, but then I lost my queen and it was crazy. At the end, uh, I ended up losing. And what I do now is I don't go for a next game. That's a very big mistake many people do. Like you just play game after game after game. And you never analyze anything. That's why you're not improving. Um, but you, what you want to do is, first of all, I'm going to change scene, so don't don't get dizzy. What you want to do is you're going to click on this button. It's analysis board. So not rematch, analysis board. Once you get to this, you get this game. But now you have more control over it. So you can you can insert variation. So what happening is C5, but I can make this B5 move, right? And after that, I can do all sorts of things, right? I can I can I can suggest ideas. I can import variation so uh, if you want more functions like this you can create a study with 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 this so you you click on this study button which is very powerful but what i'm going to suggest is even easier so you go through the game and you think well, maybe d6 wasn't very good and what many people would do is would enable the computer analysis turn this on which i won't do because that's a mistake and this is the whole point of this video no don't you shouldn't do that you shouldn't do that right away the computer is a very powerful tool, I agree. This is We're very lucky to have in modern age computers that assist us with our chess, but it's a double-edged sword, I think that's the saying. Because what happens is that it also makes us lazier. So it makes you, makes you lazy, because it's very easy to turn it on and say, ah, oh, that was the right answer, rather than trying to find the right answer in the first place and then getting your feedback. So you're gonna try to figure out your answers at the beginning. So maybe E6 was interesting, write down your thoughts on that, write down what you think white would play. Um, maybe the same with with consoles, maybe H5, H4 and launching a king's head attack was better, right? All, all sorts of things, maybe 98 and 97 is not the right idea. What does, um, write down other ideas, maybe 97, 95 is another idea. So write down what you think white will play against that, write down all these variations, and very importantly, write down what you think. So how you evaluate positions, because after, let's say you finish doing that all over the game, you're going to end up writing all your thoughts. Then you turn on the engine and the engine is going to tell you in this case, was E6 back? Oh yeah, E6 was better. And then you play around. It's not the end. It's not like, oh, E6 is better. There you go. No, you have to play around a little bit. Think, uh, what? Uh, oh, the, the, the computer likes this. I, I thought this was a weakening. And, and I thought these pawns were, were a little bit weak now because of D4 and hanging pawns, right? And you have to ask yourself, like, what, what do you think? What, what, what does the computer think of certain positions? And why you thought initially that they were bad? And you're going to learn a lot in this way. Okay, that's going to be it. Another short one, I think. This kind of short tips are very useful and some people like it. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.